Hello, I'm David, and last video I did my playlist album cover for this year, and it looks something like this. Every big artist on the platform has this playlist called This Is, and then the artist name. So what if, what if I make this playlist that has my favorite artist of the upcoming year, but in the same photo, so it looks like a band from different artists? I need to use these characteristic things, like the colored background, the artist standing here in the middle, a white space, and a type of And it resulted in a This Is style playlist, but instead of a band, it was a collection of my favorite artists, or the artists that I've been listening to for the upcoming year. If you want to check that video out first, feel free to do so by clicking that video. Otherwise, this video will be a much more in-depth tutorial on how to make it. And it's pretty easy. I use Adobe XD as well as Photoshop. And it took me around 10 small steps to create. So first of all, go into Adobe XD. And inside of Adobe XD, you create an artboard. And the artboard is your workspace for this project. It's what you will export in the end. And you create this artboard by pressing A on your keyboard and then drag it so it will become a square. And this square uh, can be whatever size you want, but I use 1080 by 1080 pixels. Then I create a rectangle using R and I fill it with a color. You can fill it with a solid color or you can add a gradient to it. Or you can do what I did and import a texture from the web and then dragging and dropping it as an image to this rectangle. After that stage, it's time to choose your artist. So once you've chosen your artists, maybe four, you go to the web, you search on Google image search to find four pretty much alike images and alike in the aspect of the same lighting and coloring, for example, as well as the same perspective. You can, of course, adjust this later, but it makes the process much easier if they're quite similar to each other. Now it's time to delete the background from these artists. And you do so by being inside of XD, then right-clicking, and then edit in Photoshop. Once Photoshop has opened, you can use the Object Select tool or the magic wand tool to select the background. And then you press the mask button and the background will be erased. The handy thing here is when you press Command S or Control S to save and then go back to XD, the background has been deleted inside of this program too. Then you just repeat this for every single artist. Now it's time to use your skills to arrange this so it looks like a band. Then it's time to add text. And you do so by pressing T on the keyboard and then type something in. I type best of 22. You can change the text color, the size, the font, the uh, spacing between the letters or the spacing between the rows inside of the font panel to the right. And a tip is to use your arrow keys when adjusting these numbers. It will increase them or decrease them by one. Unless you use shift, then it will increase or decrease by 10. I wanted to get a more symmetric look. So I took Anderson Pack and Mac Miller and I flipped them horizontally. And I did so by using the horizontal flip function up in the right corner. Then I highlight the artboard and I press Command E or Control E to export it. And I export it as a JPEG because for me, PNG has not really worked when I want to import them to Spotify. After that, I go inside of my playlist inside of Spotify and I press the cover art and then I press choose photo. I upload the photo 
and then it's done. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you want to see more just like this, you can press one of these videos. It's from last year, as well as the video I did a week ago. Or check out my channel for other creative projects. Thank you for watching.